Hi! Today we will talk about the guided surgery kit of the Epcot line. Using a drilling sequence as an example, the kit has two levels, the tray and the removable bottom. Lift the tray out of the kit. Remove the bottom. And put the tray back on its base. The kit also includes the drill stoppers integrated into the tray. Additionally, the Epcot line provides a specific drilling sequence for each bone density, increasing clinical versatility. We will perform the drilling sequence of the Epcot Plus implant, Morse Taper Platform. 3.8 mm diameter and 11.5 mm length in a simulation of medium bone type, also known as bone type 2 or 3. We can see in the drilling instruction table included in the kit that for a soft bone of that diameter we should go up to drill D or E and apply the countersink function when necessary. What should we consider to select the drill? The use of the E-drill, up to 5 mm in depth, will depend on the height of the cortical bone of the patient. For this reason, the use of the E-drill is optional. We will use it as an example on this occasion. Let's start by securing the guide using the 1.3 mm drill. Place your tool inside the lateral sleeve and start drilling. After drilling with a 1.3 mm drill, Select the fixation pin from the guide and place it manually. Now select the tissue punch to simplify the drilling sequence. To use the regular sleeve, select the drill handle of the tissue punch. To start the drilling sequence, select the 2 mm diameter twist drill. Since in this case, we use the 11.5 mm long implant in H5 condition, we will drill an 11.5 mm hole. Therefore, we select the 11.5 mm diameter drill stopper from the Save Drill Kit. We select the diameter of the drill we are working with and preferred length. Select the drill handle for the 2 mm sleeve and start drilling. Have a look at the color coding, which was designed to help you during the drilling sequence. For example, the twist drill was removed from a silver rubber in the tray. And the end of the matching drill handle is also silver colored. The next drill we will use will be taken from the yellow rubber. Therefore, following the proper sequence, we must use the drill handle that has a yellow end. Now we will take the second drill. We will take the drill stopper from the safe drill, 11.5 mm long. Select the appropriate drill handle for the diameter of the chosen drill. Place it in the sleeve and proceed with the drilling.
If you have any doubts about the depth of the drilling, you can use the depth probe to verify it. If it's correct, go to the next drill, which is the drill C, 3 mm diameter. Select the drill stopper for the 3 mm diameter and 11.5 mm length drill. Select the drill handle for the 3 mm drill. The next drill in this sequence is drill D with a diameter of 3.3 mm. Use the safe drill stopper with the preferred length. Select the drill handle for the 3.3 mm drill. Place it on the sleeve of the guide and start drilling. Since we are simulating a medium bone drilling sequence, we continue to drill E with the option to reach up 5 mm max depth. This decision depends on the cortical bone of the patient. We select drill E and, in this case, we also select a safe drill of 3.6 mm diameter and 5 mm length. Select the drill handle for the 3.6 mm diameter drill, which is drill E. Place it on the sleeve, on the guide, and start drilling. Now proceed to the implant placement. The implant placement we choose is the AppCut Plus. More taper platform, 3.8 mm in diameter and 11.5 mm in length. Open the box pressing on the upper end to do it properly. Remove the implant from its package. Use the Morse taper driver to remove the implant in its H5 condition, since it is the driver used for this drilling sequence. Place it in the contra-angle handpiece and remove the implant directly from the blister. The drill handle is not required for implant placement. Just fit the implant inside the sleeve in the guide and start the placement. Complete the implant placement with a surgical torque wrench. Remove the contra angle head from the handpiece and change it into a surgical torque wrench with its connector, which can be either short or long. The implant placement is completed when the base of the wrench reaches the drill stopper of the guide. Remove all elements. With the 1.2 mm hex wrench included in the kit, remove cover screw from the blister cap.
Disassemble the whole set. Remove the fixation pins. Remove the guide, and the implant placement is concluded. Thank <laughs> you.